morning. It is Saturday the 12th of November 2011. It is about 4.40 in the morning and according to some this is the time where this world and the spirit world collide, thereabouts. And I am eating a samosa, as you can see. Why on earth am I um, eating a samosa at 4.40 in the morning, I hear you ask. And what's that have to do with living in Britain? Or uh, London, specifically? Well, um... I can tell you the best samosa I've ever eaten was earlier on this year at Battersea Park Foodie Festival. And um, to be honest, this is just some ordinary samosa from Sainsbury's and just doesn't measure up. Anyway, um, on that note, welcome. This is my day. It's about 10.10 10 and I'm ever so slightly more awake. And what is the plan for today? Well, I've got a friend, a very good friend of mine from uni who is, well, he just so happens to be doing a play um, down in Greenwich. So I'm going to go to that with another of my friends from university, Anish who you'll meet very soon, and um, not going to lie, it's a bit of a mandate, but um, I guess you will see how it goes, but first, breakfast. And here we are. Soggy. Well, I'm waiting to rock and roll. I thought I'd answer those all important questions. What is outside my window? Um, not sure if you can see that. Let's take this away. Oh, small children and um, a big building because I live on a council estate and we've got some washing there and then um, there's a car park where we all you know park our cars and stuff and um, yeah it's pretty small and like when I tell people I live on a council estate and when I grew up on a council estate they're all kind of WTF, because council estates have this really horrid perception of being um, really rough and horrible. Oh, there's mum. But, um, I don't know. It's home, and it's been home for about 13 years. Haven't really got any huge fights Some when I was younger. Uh, not like huge things, just like schoolyard rubbish. Uh, um, obviously, I can't speak for people who grew up on them, um, like huge, enormous council estates. Um, but for me, life has been relatively, uh, relatively fun here. Great, let's get to the tube station. This is um, a big willow tree, this is my estate, and um, yeah this thing's about a million years old, gets trimmed twice a year I think, and it get, when it gets really long, you see kids swinging, doing a Tarzan thing, I used to do it all the time, when I was small, 
fun. Anyway, um, this is where I live. <laughs> and we are at the tube station. You want to know what I love most out of everything in the whole of Britain? That's right, the tube. I love YouTube. You get me places. Even though you're not here at the moment. Hi, Anish. <laughs> How are you? This is Anish. This is my bro. Yeah, we're on the tube. Bad timing. That's great timing. We'll be there. All the time. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform. This you, is Barons Court. Change here for the district line. Hmm? This is a Piccadilly line service to well, Cockfosters. They're not cool. <laughs> Alright, um, what we can see. We're going to see an opera by uh, Gilbert and Sullivan. Are you excited? I'm okay. I'm not a big fan of them normally. I think they're a bit, they're a bit too cheesy. A bit too easy. Cheesy. 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 Yeah. Well, not cheesy, but... The next station is Earl's well, Court. What do you like most about Change Britain? What? The what do you like most about Britain? About Britain? Yeah. Um, not the food. Not the press. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of things like beyond all the shit stuff. Yeah. yeah. But if you had to pick one thing, uh, women. <laughs> Okay, so, hi Aris. Hello. Explain what's going on. Um, we're in Spaghetti House. On our mandate. Um, Why are we on a mandate? Because we, we've got a mad romance going on, <laughs> obviously. No, explain, explain what happened to about um, Explain why, what, who you would have been here with. Oh, no, man, that's embarrassing. <laughs> go, on. No, go on, explain who you would have been here with. Um, someone who's prettier than you. <laughs> <laughs> no offence. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's that? Any, any, na any name? Any particular gender? Well, just think about all the people in Britain who are prettier than you. There's <laughs> no one person in particular. Sorry, man. Hey, I, I'm taking you out for a slap up meal. You take me out, you insult me. Spaghetti house. Call me ugly. I'm worth more than this, Aris. <laughs> I'm worth more than they not call you ugly, sorry. I, I said the person who... Okay, would have been here. Yeah, would have been here. It's just pretty, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, just... strap okay. You're a guy anyway. Guys don't want to be pretty. They want to be like... Well, I don't want to be, but I just am. It's a curse. Really. <laughs> it's a curse. I can't help it. Whatever. Bon yeah. appétit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Enjoy. What's right. going on? Nothing, nothing much. I'm just here, Britain in a day. Britain in a day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, what have we just done? Um, we've eaten some pasta. Pasta? Yeah, yeah. Been wined and dined? Yeah. How do you feel? I feel full. <laughs> What's your favourite thing about Britain? Um, I like British writers. Next question. <laughs> What's your least favourite thing about Britain? Tabloids and uh, the Islamophobia in the newspapers. Oh, political! Oh! <laughs> it's so quiet. Shh. What are the four card suits? <laughs> Carts, clubs, spades. What's the fourth one? Clubs. No, clubs, spades, hearts, what? Diamonds. Thank you. Look at this guy, he doesn't even care. It's a really weird night tonight. None of the trains work. Tarot card suits? Sun, moon, death. <laughs> I don't know. No? Okay, f*** you then. 
Welcome aboard this service to Dartford, calling at London Bridge, Deptford, Greenwich, Maze Hill. Right, where are we? We're at the Greenwich Theatre and we've just watched um, part, one. part one of a Gilbert and Sullivan play. Gilbert and Sullivan's... Ruggedor. Ruggedor? What is Ruggedor. Ruggedor, that's the one. Yeah, and um, I'm quite enjoying it. Are you enjoying it? I'm enjoying it, I'm surprised. Like, well, Gilbert and Sullivan, as you know, probably they last about six hours minimum. This is going quite, quite quickly. Six hours? It's an exaggeration, but you know. Jeez. Yeah, it's pretty good so far. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's, amateur, it's an amateur production, but it's really good. The act, acting is really good. The singing is really nice too. And we're second row. Mm -hmm. so second row, row yeah, really good seats. Good and they ran ice cream, so I'm having um, blackberry sorbet. Blackberry sorbet? Blackberry, blueberry. I didn't know they did blueberry sorbet. No, it's How blackberry. It? Blackberry. Sorbet. Blackberry. Okay, make up your mind. I was right, but then you like said, well, blackberry sorbet, that's wrong. Are you enjoying it? I'm enjoying it. It's nice. It's nice. I, I, I hate looking at myself. <laughs> hello, hello. Right, we. He loves it. All right, we're in a random hello. jazz club. Hi, guys. Hi. With. What's your name? I've been talking to this camera the entire day, and you don't know my fucking name. Yeah, and you love it. Oh, is there no swearing? Was there no swearing in, in the global one? Well, I don't know, but you're okay. swearing. There is now. Fine. We've just seen a really good opera. It was amateur, but I was dead impressed. The right. singing was really good, and it was a friend of these guys. Yes. Hi, guys. Hi. How are you all? Good. Very hot, but very happy after seeing a very, very... Oh, yeah, I can take my coat off. It's a good idea. Very good after... Uh, Ruddy Gore. Ruddy Gore. Gilbert and Sullivan. Yeah. And then we good came British in, tradition. Then we came to a jazz club just as the band went off. Oh. Yeah. Another oh. British tradition. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're wearing enjoy? very inappropriate clothing. Another British tradition. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys enjoying the ambiance? At least? Indeed. We can do. Being in the, in the semi-darkness, not being able to see the next person next to you. I always think you look better in the semi-darkness, darling. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Controversy. This is Britain, <laughs> Britain in a nutshell. It's five to midnight. We are outside a quite cool jazz club. It was awesome. How was your experience of the jazz club? Oh, it was very nice. <laughs> yeah, it was very nice. Did you yes. have fun? Yeah, you've been to the opera. Yeah, <laughs> could do it with a cup of tea. <laughs> All jazzed out. All yeah. jazzed out. I'm sweating. Look at me. I'm a sweaty sweating. piece. Look at him. He's a sweaty man. I'm an alpha gay. <laughs> <laughs> Say that again. I'm an alpha gay. You're, you're, How are you doing, boys? Is <laughs> 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 that convincing? Uh, all right, then moving on. Scale of, yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, it was good. It was claustrophobic, but it was claustrophobic. nice. Claustrophobic. Did you have a positive... Eeny bitty living space, but yep. it was very good. Oh, very, very good. It was musical. Wow. You can't help but tap all the various organs on your body. True. And some other people's bodies, but you know. Hence, I'm now standing outside. <laughs> Yeah, awesome. There we go. Well, guys, I have to ask you very quickly, what's your favourite thing about Britain? Tea. <laughs> favourite thing about Britain? Cream tea. <laughs> the women. The women. All the women. You've already but said you that. But you said you're gay. The men too. <laughs> All the women, all, everybody. He doesn't discriminate. Inanimate objects, animals, <laughs> toys, all of them. I love them. All right. <laughs> Favourite thing about Britain? Well, I was going to say the people, but after the previous comment, I'm not sure. Uh, the environment the, in which we live. Well, I would say Tesco, but we're global. So. <laughs> <laughs> all I'm thinking is, how the hell did we end up at a jazz club in Greenwich? Yeah, it's, that, that's that's my fault, sorry. All right. <laughs> that is Britain. There we are. So we, we wanted to experience Gilbert and Sullivan, something from the 1870s or whatever it was, and now we've come forward to, well, about 1954. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, not bad. Not all right. By the time we get home, it'll be the millennium. <laughs> <laughs> All right, say goodbye 12th of November. Goodbye 12th of November. Britain in a day. Bye.